Anyone who, who has gone through a divorce can tell you it's a painful and stressful experience, forcing couples to face issues and questions they've never faced before. Our next guest may be able to help. Erin Cambier works with a program called Divorce Care, which offers hope and healing for people like our second guest, Shelly Mosier, whose lives have been affected by divorce. Ladies, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Yes. So Erin, maybe you can start and give us a little bit of background on the Divorce Care program, how it got started. Sure. Well, Divorce Care is actually a national program, and it's been in Sioux Falls for quite a few years. Um, we have offered it since 2014. It's a program for anyone who is divorced or separated. We have people who are recently separated a week, or we have people that have been 20 years divorced, but recognize there's still some things they want to work on that come through the program. So really anywhere in between, everybody's welcome. And so is it just one location, or is it offered at, at different... We, different locations? we meet at one location. There are other facilities or other um, organizations that offer it in Sioux Falls also. Uh, we do have a kids program as well. So while parents are in a group, um, the kids are in a group. We also have a teen group. So it's really a one-stop shop to help everyone with their healing through the season. Perfect. Now, Shelly, you're, I understand you're a participant in the program. I am. If you could maybe tell us a little bit about your experience. Sure. Um, you know, when I first found Divorce Care, it just provided me with, like, the tools and the resources that I needed for that, just to give me comfort and hope and healing, um, not only, you know, through the, the, the workbook and the videos, but just the connections that I was able to make with other people going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. Just being able to rely on, on other people for support right. and, mm -hmm. and then bounce off right. feelings and stuff. What about, Erin, there are some different topics that are included in the program. Maybe we can talk about some of the different topics that we were talking about. Sure. The program is a structured 15-week program, and each week okay. we have a different topic, including working through anger, working through forgiveness, which is a tough topic for many of us mm -hmm. as we go through those things, and just recognizing not only from the emotional perspective of going through divorce, as well as we have a week about finances. We have a week about... Uh, kid care and how to work through that transition in the best way possible to benefit the kids and the parents. Yeah. Now I know as a guy this can be sometimes a very intimidating program, you know, and maybe even some women face that same thing where they don't want to, you know, step into something mm -hmm. that's an uncomfortable situation. Shelly, since you've already experienced mm -hmm. that, is there any advice that mm -hmm. you can give to people that, that maybe do feel a little bit intimidated mm -hmm. by getting involved in the group? Of, yes, absolutely. I just encourage them to take that step and, you know, sign up for the class and walk through the doors the very first night, you know, that we start. Um, we've got a great leadership team that is just so welcoming and it's a safe environment, non-judgmental, and they just provide comfort and love and support, and it's it's exactly what people need when going through divorce. Yeah, that's excellent, Erin. So, why exactly do you think the group was formed? I mean, was there was there a certain need you feel in the community, or there's absolutely a need for people through going through divorce and separation. Uh, if 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 people have been through it, they recognize so much changes in your life, and maybe your circle of friends is even different. So knowing, how do I work through this in the best way possible? Um, many people, their hesitation is, well, I'll just get through it. I'll just, you know, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be okay. And you will be okay. But why not come to a place where you know that you're going to be okay-er? Yeah. <laughs> I joke with the group, right. you know, I know you're good, but let's get gooder. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Which I know is not a term. But. Yeah. So I know that, you know, it doesn't just affect the parents, you know, that a lot of times there's children involved. Maybe you could talk a little bit about the divorce care program for kids. The kids program is phenomenal, and there is no group program like this um, locally. And they have videos, they play games, they do activities. <clears throat> the way the program was built, they did tons of studies on what it takes to help kids work through things in a positive manner. Um, the kids have fun. My kids have been through the program and begged to go back. They wanted to go back after that. Mom, I just really felt like I was normal. Everybody there was mm -hmm. just like me, and it's so much fun. So yeah, it's you, good for them, too. Do you think that that helps the kids to have other children that are maybe going through the exact same thing that they're experiencing? just helps them feel more, like you said, more accepted, more yes. normal, more, mm -hmm. you know, that I'm not the only one that this is Yes, this is and happening. they have so much fun. You know, it's, it's a program to help them work mm -hmm. through it in a positive way. And honestly, we have fun in the adult group, too. Mm -hmm. We don't celebrate it from a, this is a joyous time, but we can still find joy. We can find gratitude through every season, and that's what we really work on in that program is getting through that in the best way. Finding you're happy again. 
Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shelly, maybe uh, you can give me an idea on some of the most beneficial parts of the program that you've experienced. Sure. Um, you know, just when you're going through that time of divorce or separation, the, the pain is so immense <laughs> that you just need a, a support group. You know, you may not be able to go to your friends or you may not be able to go to your family. So having the, the team of leaders um, just provide that comfort and support and they're always there for you, you know, um, just to talk if you just feel like you need to cry or scream mm -hmm. or whatever it is, they're there and, and um, you know, it just provided a lot of healing and a lot of hope for me. Mm -hmm. And I know, you know, I know the program does meet at the church, and I did want to mm -hmm. let people know that, you know, it is non-denominational, mm -hmm. uh, but it does it does meet at Celebrate. I don't want that to, you know, deter right. people, you know, that think, oh no, I, you know, do I have to go to church to do that? Mm -hmm. And so it's just really a nice, uh, open, accepting program for anyone really mm -hmm. that's experiencing that. So exactly. I wanted to make sure that our, that our viewers uh, were aware of that too. Erin, and, and I understand there's a new group starting up in August. There is. Our next group starts August 28th, and you can register online on the Divorce Care website, um, as well as the Celebrate Church website also has some information. So it does start on August 28th, and it runs, the program runs for 15 weeks? Correct. But yes. you don't have to start August 28th. You can, you can come in, mm -hmm. you know, since you meet every week, right? Mm -hmm. New participants are welcome anytime. Okay. We encourage people. It's obviously best to come in at the yes. beginning. <laughs> but if for some reason uh, mm -hmm. someone is in that season at a different time, they're sure. welcome to join anytime. Sure. That sounds great. Well, thanks again, ladies, for sharing. Thanks, thanks for having us.